There's something really hot going on in quiet suburban Peoria, Arizona, and it's not just the weather. Here on the outskirts of Phoenix, you'll find an auxiliary public relations heat wave with a burning success story. Units across the country are taking notice, and it all started with a brand new member with zero public relations experience. I began as public relations chairman a year ago, but I didn't have any experience in public relations. So I decided to check out the website at alaforveterans.org and they had a template for Flag Day. And so I used that template. I decided to personalize it for Arizona so that it would have a better shot at getting published. And I ended up getting published in two newspapers. Early on, March realized the importance of establishing relationships with local media. One of the things we realized is that newspaper people are incredibly busy and if we can provide them a story that's already done, then that's something they can publish without having to spend their own time writing it, and it increases our chances of being published incredibly. As the editor of two community weekly newspapers, we count on articles of community interest and American Legion Auxiliary Unit 62 is very good about helping us get their information out to our readers. We enjoy a good relationship with the auxiliary and I count on them to provide me with information that is pertinent, that is interesting, that is informative for our readers. I was really nervous at first, but now we've developed three different types of stories. Letters to the editor that are quick and easy, program stories where I get to talk to program managers and learn about their programs, and stories about our legionnaires that are about history. So people ask me what is my favorite story and I think it's the one I'm working on right now. I look forward to seeing the joy that people get from seeing their, themselves in the newspaper and I can't wait to write the next one. Readers enjoy and are motivated by positive stories about the auxiliary and our veterans. And with all effective public relations, communication works both ways. In all my stories, I try to make sure that we cover what's going on locally as well as nationally. And an important part of the story is the very end, where we always cover what, how people can get a hold of us locally and how they can get a hold of the ALA at a national level. Good PR is not only interesting to the community at large, but it directly impacts unit membership and involvement. With over 800 members here at this unit, I'm able to see a reflection of the public relations on our membership. We are still growing, we're retaining our membership, and we even have a lot of rejoins because of what they've seen in the newspaper of what we do. I read a article late last year about Veterans Day here at this unit, and it really got me motivated to come join and uh, get involved. Being department president and a member of this unit, it's amazing what's been accomplished in one year. So one of the most amazing things that came out of this program was the surprise and the enjoyment of our members seeing themselves in the newspaper and their stories being published in the newspaper and what they've done. And don't forget about the increasing importance of social media as a tool for public relations. Marge often says, it doesn't take a public relations pro to make a huge difference. I may not be a journalist or a public relations expert, but I do have a husband. And so I know how to say the same thing over and over again, 25 times, 16 different ways, in order to get my message heard. And to me, that's what public relations is all about. It's about being out there consistently over time so that your target market hears your message, just like my husband eventually hears mine. To access great public relations information and tips for your ALA unit, visit the Members Only tab at www.alaforveterans.org.